once we have found who our actors are and, and the roles they are playing, we can begin to explore how we're going to provide value to them. And to provide value is to solve a need. So our next model is about types of needs, trying to catalog those needs from those actors and having real clear what are the opportunities to solve those needs are. So we have three types of needs. There is existence needs, there are relationship needs, and there are growth needs, okay? So what they mean is, uh, I want to keep on things happening like they are right now, that existence, that I need to maintain the status quo. I I'm a social being, I like to be part of groups and uh, especially keep on being part of groups and I want to progress, I want to grow, I want to have a personal development. We put the three um, actors that we have and we start listing, okay, how can I help them maintain the status quo? In the case of the CEO, it's let's keep doing business with the clients. In case of relationship, I want to have a relationship with my clients, I want to have a relationship or maintain a relationship with my uh, employees. And in terms of growth, uh, I want to, I really want my company to do better and establish new protocols. So if, if I, it's not about money, but it's about being better at my job. Project managers, they want to get paid and, and are not being fired. They, they want to create and maintain a relationship with their bosses and with the clients, and they want to be better at their job. They basically, they, they are pretty much similar to the other. And in the case of clients, we don't have existence and, and growth needs, but we do have relationship needs to solve. They are keeping a relationship with the man uh, managers and with the company. So with this model, we know what kind of need we can solve for them. And let's jump to the next one to understand how are we going to generate that value.